Hey everybody, it's Melissa with Dark Sky Designs and I'm here today to show you something that I've heard works and I'm going to test it out. Uh, I'm going to start with the disclaimer that uh, try this at your own risk. So I wasn't sure how my transfers would fare while doing this. Um, they did turn out okay, which I'll show in the end. Uh, and then the the armor etch that I'm using here for glass etching is uh, apparently extremely, extremely dangerous and can cause severe burns. So, just so you know. So what I'm going to try today is using a chalk couture transfer on a glass mason jar mug with some armor etch to see if I can etch the design into the glass. So with this one, uh, definitely important to make sure that you're wearing gloves. I'm not a huge fan of wearing them, so you may have noticed that I almost started without them. Um, but I did read the caution on the jar before I started and figured it probably a smart idea. So I put on my gloves incorrectly the first time, but it got fixed. And then I picked one of my transfers that is an older, well-loved one, so that if anything happened to it, I wouldn't be completely heartbroken. I took that, I applied it to the glass. Um, always remember with glass to fuzz it very, very well if you're going to be putting it on, again, on glass. This one, since it's an older one, it's not as sticky as most of mine, so I wasn't super worried about it, and it came off okay. Um, but again, just always fuzz well if you're putting it on anything like glass or metal, something like that. So I then took a paintbrush and liberally, liberally applied the Armor Etch. Kind of showing, showing how much I put on there at one point here. Um, and then I'm going to let that sit for about three minutes and see what happens. So those transfers were ones that, if this works, I will probably try on some different types of glasses um, so that I can sell those. So I waited about three minutes, roughly calculated in my head. You can use a timer, but since I was recording with my phone, I just sort of estimated. And here I am, uh, yeah, trying to figure out what else I do <laughs> while you guys are waiting. So I took it off, I washed it with water, I made sure the armor etch did not touch the back of the transfer, and you can see that it did etch into the glass. I would in the future leave it on longer, it didn't come out super, super etched, but it was okay. And then I was just curious if my transfer would still be okay after that, so I cleaned it off, wiped it off really quick, and then I'm pulling a piece of uh, cardstock here just to see if my transfer is still okay. Quickly pulling a brown chalk paste, get my squeegee action on, and then when I take it off, you're going to see that, voila, it's good. Thank you.